Okay guys, I've been using the Galaxy Note 10 Plus for three months, roughly, roughly around three months. And I've got to say, this device has always been, at least the device series has always been my day to day. I've been a Galaxy Note user for a while, and this video is more about how it helps my life. Um, it's not a sponsored video of any kind, it's just what I use the Galaxy Note for and what I like to see, and some of the things that it really helps me do, right? So the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, we know it's got this slick looking design, uh, lovely display, uh, I mean, can't go wrong with that. The S Pen, you know, it's got a lot of features that make a lot of sense from a smartphone perspective. But for me, it's it's like my, my daily companion. It, it's my personal assistant, right? Now, how does this work for me? So the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has a massive battery, 4,300 milliamps. And the fact that I can go all day with it is truly amazing, right? Even though you've got a 25 watt charger that charges really fast, an hour and eight minutes, or the 45 watts, which is under an hour. I've got videos for those, so definitely check it out. Got the links up there for you. But because it's got that ability to stay for a long time, I usually go to a lot of events. I don't have to carry a battery charger with me anymore. I can go out and do uh, stuff at events. So I can go out, check out new devices, which I usually do. I take my notes down on my S Pen, write it down, uh, just things I, I see capture in my head. But it also helps me back at home because while I'm at the event, I have to get ready to come back and shoot. And a couple of things I need to do is keep my, make sure my house is clean. So I've got it, the Samsung Robot Vacuum and it's really easy to access it. Now, the, you know, there used to be a separate app, but now you can easily just access the smart vacuum or the robot vacuum from your notification bar and I can go ahead and get it going and moving right away. I can also access it through Bixby if I wanted to. So while I'm at an event and I'm getting ready and I'm planning my shots, that bad boy is cleaning my apartment, making sure it's ready to go. You know, those kind of things I do like. That's the kind of synergy that makes a lot of sense for me. Now, again, while I'm out in the city, whether it's at an event, whether it's just, you know, grabbing dinner, lunch, or just testing out functionality on the device, you know, it's got triple cameras on this, on this uh, smartphone. The wide angle camera is really good. I think it's the best wide angle camera of any smartphone out there. Photos in daytime look really nice on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Uh, you know, it's got a little punchy colors, but I like the colors, I like the look. Nighttime photography needs to get better, Samsung. That's where I want you guys to shine, make some changes. Video is good, but it's still lagging behind. Stabilization 4K60 needs more improvements, but Super Steady is great at 1080p. You take all those photos, coming back, editing the photos, or working on different you know, video sets, I've got other things to do at home, right? Yes, I've got a large apartment, at least for New York standards, Laundry is one of the things that I, I, I am glad I do in my apartment. I've got a, a, a Samsung washer and dryer set. Uh, it's the WF6300R matching dryer is the DV6300V. Why I like this and have these at home, again, this is not a sponsored video, guys, is the integration into smart things and into my home. I've been using smart things for a very long time, since almost since the inception of smart things, because it allows me to add so many different things to my ecosystem. I don't have to be tied to any company, right? To me, that's the best thing. But the ability to have these washer and dryer tied in is while I'm doing my videos and I realize, and this happens a lot, I actually find it quite funny that I tend to put my stuff in the washer and I don't turn it on. So, uh, I'll be sitting now editing like I am now here and I'm like, oh man, I need to do my laundry because if I don't do the laundry now and I have that noise while I'm recording, it's going to just disrupt my recording. So instead of me running off to my laundry machine, checking out both the washer and dryer or whatever, whichever one I need to turn on, I can do it directly from, again, my notification center, going to devices, check that out, boom and start my laundry. But it also shows me like, you know, different watch cycles, what I need to do, is it heavy soil? Like all this laundry stuff that, yeah, I mean, I know that growing up because I was raised by a single mom, but 
it's still very intricate to give you the kind of stuff that you may not know and go like, okay, maybe I should wash my clothes this way, right? And when, you know, when it turns off, there's a notification that it's saying, hey, look, your laundry's done, go ahead and put it in the dryer. Now, I just wish it had like a robot arm to put stuff into the dryer for me, so I could just hit the button and I'm good. But I can do this directly from here. I can also do it, you know, if I'm out, out in town, out in the city, off on my roof, doesn't matter. That accessibility for me is very important. Uh, it may not be important for everyone, but it's important because it allows me to use those smart devices like a smart washer and dryer to my own needs, which is easy access, doing my laundry quickly. So when I come back, either my clothes are dry and I just take it out or my clothes are washed and I put it in the dryer. Boom, that's it. That I'd like and that kind of simplicity I think works well for me. Now, this device has a ton of features. Uh, 855 processor for gaming is really good. Uh, you've also got liquid cooling. Check out my gaming video. It just gives you a whole breakdown there. But it's not just that aspect. It's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm recording this video with you guys right now. And I'm going into the notifications and it's going to devices. It's right there. It shows you the list of all your devices as I'm looking at it right now. It says devices remote connected directly to your, your smartphone or the devices in your home. One of the devices is a smart plug, which powers my Nano Leaf back there. Uh, you can see the panels behind me. Usually in certain videos, I turn them on, I turn them off. I can do it via Bixby. I don't want to activate Bixby, Bixby right now. I can tap, turn it on and boom, it's lit, right? It's gonna change color cycles and all that fun stuff, but it allows me to do my work. I don't need to get up and turn it on. You gotta understand the, the simplicity of having something like a smart plug that can help me do things like I want to do. I don't have to go to a separate app. I don't have to do a lot of things. And speaking of that connectivity, a lot of the devices that I have, the third party ones too, um, they sync in automatically into smart things. So when I'm setting them up, I don't necessarily have to get the third party application, which is nice, which works out really well. Now, as I mentioned the camera earlier on the device, and how Samsung needs to improve. Um, I've also got a smart camera at home, right? Which allows me to view and record uh, whatever I'm seeing. And the camera works pretty well. It's got a microphone I can access directly, again, from the notification center, which means this device is all I need to do all that. But the seamless integration in there makes, makes it, like, just makes it so much easier. So if someone's coming to visit and, or somebody breaks into my home, I can see that I've got motion detection, I can set up security. There's a lot to it that I can actually do. So for me, that is nice. But if, you know, for instance, I've got friends who come to visit and we're hanging out here and they eventually leave, or somebody, you know, even say somebody's just dropping off a delivery and I wanna lock my door, I've got a smart lock, now, we know we can integrate that, of course, into smart things here. I can go ahead and tap the button to lock the front door, or I can use Bixby and go lock front door. You heard it, so my front door's locked. And that's my garage front door. I mean, there's an indicator, there's a number pad on there, which is nice, so I can remotely access it. But think about how cool it is that you know, I can have family visit or friends. I'm not at home. I can let them into my front door remotely anywhere I am on the planet, directly from my phone. Because this phone allows the capabilities across the board. And that's how I personally use it on a day-to-day -day -day basis. I mean, yeah, I take pictures. I game quite a bit, which is why I do a lot of gaming videos. And I love using the Galaxy Note 10 to game because of the screen real estate, because that display is the best display you find. Uh, but I, what I really love is the smart home integration, how easy it is for me to use. Yes, there are many other things I can use. You know, there are uh, competitors out there from Google to Amazon. I just love the fact that I can add in so many other things like appliances. Hey, look, hey, I'm getting older. I need to have things in my place that work for me. So that's why I like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Would I like to see some improvements? Definitely. I mean, 
I think nighttime photography needs to be improved. Uh, video also needs to be improved on this device. I think the standby time is something Samsung needs to look at. Uh, it's got great battery life, but its standby time is, you tend to lose a lot of battery uh, while you're on standby, which I want to see improve. But overall, I mean, I'm loving the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Um, I can't wait to see what they do in the future. Glad they fixed the fingerprint sensor uh, with the update, so we don't have the issue anymore. Uh, luckily, I didn't experience anything bad from that. I uh, want to see what they do with the punch hole or the notch or no in-display camera in the future. I uh, want to see what they do with the camera improvements. There's a lot of things they can do, but for me and what I do on a daily basis, the smart home integration is probably my best thing. And I will tout smart things to death because I've been using it for years and it works out really, really well. I just wanted to show you guys the setup because this is what I do. This is my life. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. If you want to check out any of the devices you see in this video, use the links down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.